Hey guys, I'm Sapir and welcome to Python tutorial number 28. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the second half of our dictionary methods. Um, and so, let's just jump into it, I guess. I'm going to do this all in the Python idle, as per usual. Um, and as a dictionary, we're going to create a dictionary called mydict. And we'll have val1 is equal to hello world. And val2 is equal to damn, piss off ok uh, so the first method that we're going to look at now is the pop method uh, now what the pop method does is it retrieves the value of um, that's uh, matched to the key that you supply um, and it returns the value inside that key and then after it gives you that value, it eliminates that key value pair from the dictionary. So let's just have a look at this. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, my dict dot pop, and we can read v. Sorry, uh, forget that v. It removes the specified key and return the corresponding v. Okay. Uh, not sure what the v is about, but anyway. Uh, let's just give this a go. We'll say enter val1. Okay, so we're going to get the value that's paired to val1, which is obviously hello world as we defined it here. But now, if we take a look at the actual mydict dictionary, val1 no longer exists in it uh, because that's how the pop method works. Now, the way this might be useful, if I would just put that value back into um, the dictionary where this might be useful is if you want to eliminate a value from a dictionary but still keep it somewhere else you might say x equals my dict dot pop val one now my dict left with only that one value but x now contains the value that we had in my dict but we took out okay uh... so let's let's just pop it back in there now the next uh, method is the pop item method this does exactly the same as pop but let's just take a look at the description dot pop item you don't actually supply any um, parameters or any arguments pardon. Um, it just randomly selects a value in your dictionary to pop and it does and then it just does exactly as it would with uh, the pop method so gives you the value inside that key and then removes the, the whole pair from the dictionary and the way you might use this um, would be if you need to process data in a dictionary um, but it doesn't matter in what order you process it okay uh, and this and if it doesn't matter what order you, you, you need to process it in but you want to process it all and you don't want to have to worry about the key getting the key names right because if you get the key name here wrong it's going to throw like an error of some kind here you don't need to worry about supplying it a key name with, or, at all so if you don't need to worry about the order this um, method is definitely the more favorable one uh, so just take a look at it it gives us the actual it doesn't just give us the value um, because unlike this one where we knew the key that we were getting rid of the value of. Uh, here we don't because it's random so it actually gives us a tuple with both the key and the value. Okay, uh, And then if we look at my dict, it's gone. Okay, So let's just pop it back in there again. Equals Okay. Now the next uh, method we have is the set default method. Now the way this method works is again let's just take a look at the actual um, description. Okay, so it says okay, that's kind of complicated, so I'm just going to uh, go through it myself. Basically, what this does is you supply it a key or a value of a key, and if that value exists already in the dictionary, it re if that sorry if that key exists already in the dictionary, it returns the value which is matched to that. But if it doesn't exist, it sets it um, either to none, or you can also supply a second argument 
as a uh, well I mean probably be a string and it will set that as the value so I could say hmm is val1 there if it's not there set it to high world okay instead it is there so it returns the value that's already in uh, val1 and if I look at my dict it's unaffected however if I say my dict set default uh, val3 and I say the thing will be hello off or something, I don't know, just a mix of the two hello off it returns the value that was well, because it always has to return a value in this case, rather than retrieving a value that's already there because it doesn't exist it first inserts the key value pair and then returns the value it does the check and returns the value so in this case we've now just inserted a value into our dictionary okay uh the next method we have is the update method now um the way this method works is let's take a look at it see if there's any good description 